Hello and welcome to this automotive Ethernet technology video. Today we want to show you how to measure an automotive Ethernet multi-gigabit cable and therefore I have with me Mr. Bert Bergner who is Senior Principal Engineer at TE Connectivity. Welcome Bert. Hello Jörn, thank you very much for the introduction. So today we have brought our ZMB20 vector network analyzer and Bert you have brought a new kind of cable. Can you explain what you have with you? Yes, this is an assembly with a shielded twisted pair cable or in short STP cable. And we have attached our TE connectivity beamnet connector to the cable segments. This miniaturized connector system is specifically developed for data transmission on balanced pair cable um, at frequencies up to 10 or even 15 gigahertz. So we have here five cable segments and the connectors between the segments are called inline connectors. At the end of this cable assembly, we have also two of these beamnet connectors. In a real application, these connectors would be plugged into the electronic control units in a car. Here we want to measure the performance of our cable assemblies and therefore we need to connect it to our network analyzer. For this reason, we have these two test fixtures. Yeah, and now I think we are ready for the measurement and to see if we meet the requirements. When we are talking about the requirements, you are chairman of the Open Alliance TC9 Technical Committee. And uh, can you explain what this working group is doing? Yeah, the performance of the complete uh, link segment is defined by the automotive Ethernet standard for 2.5, 5 and 10 gigabit data transmission over a single balanced pair cable. Uh, link segment, this is the IEEE term for the complete cable assembly as we have it here on our table. The standard defines um, the required performance, but not the components, which are the connectors and the bare cable. And this is exactly what we are doing in TC9. We are specifying the minimum requirements for the cables, for the connectors, to make sure that components from different vendors can work together in one system. And in addition, we also take care about the measurement methodology to make sure that the results are comparable. Okay, so in the end, you make it easier to understand uh, what the specification is saying for the, for the user, right? Yes. Okay, great. So should we now have a look at the results? Yeah. So here we have um, the SDD11 parameter. And uh, this parameter gives us the um, ratio between the transmitted signal and the reflected signal. The positive value, uh, the positive sign here, is also known as return loss. And as we can see, we have a comfortable margin to our limit, uh, despite the four inline connectors here in our cable assembly. The so second parameter in the button here, this is uh, SDD21. And this chart tells us that we also meet the insertion loss requirements. And finally, we have also the propagation delay of the signals, which is also well within the limits. Okay, thank you very much, Bert. It was nice to have you here and that you explained the work of the TC9 working group of the Automotive Ethernet uh, Open Alliance and uh, that you uh, showed our your new multi-gigabit Ethernet cable to us. Um, thank you very much. That was nice to have you here. You're welcome. It was a pleasure. <laughs> For this measurement, we were using the ZNB vector network analyzer up to 20 gigahertz. As well, we used uh, phase stable cables and uh, automatic calibration unit to perform an automatic calibration. Um, as well, the K2 time domain option is uh, very useful in that context because typically you need to measure impedance over time for the automotive Ethernet specifications. And as well, D embedding is very useful because then with the use of a two times through coupon, you can de embed the influence of the uh, fixtures that you need to connect the coaxial uh, cables of the vector network analyzer to the automotive Ethernet connector. And with the help of this de embedding, you can calculate out the influence of these fixtures to have the result uh, without this influence and only show uh, the result of the cable test. 
If you want to know more about our solutions, visit our Automotive Ethernet Solutions webpage where you can find a lot of useful information and other nice videos. So thank you for watching this video. See you next time and goodbye.